Mm. Now, in a more practical sense, say mm -hmm. on the street of Berlin, where you have a yeah. lot of Africans today, in Paris mm -hmm. or in London, where you are, mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. how do we go about this education of we, helping the younger people to understand they are bearing in the world? We are the ones we can sow the seed, but the flower is going to be the next order, even the generation after that. Yeah. So <clears throat> again, it's planning ahead for that. It's about organizing. Yeah, it's about organizing. If, if we're saying that the young people um, um, or any people need education, then we need to organize the groups in which that, organize, that education is going to take place. We need to um, 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 understand the nature of the education that needs to take place. Yeah? Um, and that, that, that education has to be for a purpose. It's not knowledge for knowledge sake. It's about... Okay, how do you organ? How does a community organize and create a strategy for creating change within its boundaries? Yeah, we're not talking about changing the world. We're talking about just changing your neighborhood. Yeah, uh, um, that 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 education is as important as the facts and figures of the thing. Do you understand? But it, it does it, it does start with us coming together in a space, whether that's cyberspace like we're doing now or coming together physically in the space. And what is our purpose? Our purpose is to educate. What kind of education do, do, do we need? Okay, in this situation, we, we, we'll need literacy. We'll need math skills. We'll need business skills. We'll need political strat strategy skills, yeah? We put together a program that is applicable to us. A program that, again, we identify our needs, and then we create solutions for those needs. And those solutions must be at the core. Um, um, education must serve that purpose. Education must serve the purpose of helping us understand, gain a deeper understanding of the, 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 the solutions and giving us a stronger motivation to enact those solutions. You know what I'm saying? But it, it, we have to move away from this idea that, well, we're helpless. And that you know, um, 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 you know, you, 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 I'm sure you, you know of um, um, conspiracy theories and 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 the new world order and, and and stuff. Now, I'm not saying that there isn't truth in some of that, but we're in danger of, you know, making your 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 enemy stronger than they actually are. Do you understand? You can create a mythology in terms of, well, you know, white people and the 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 Europeans and their secret societies, they control everything. You'll never be able to break it down. Nah, come on, bro. History shows you how, how it can be done because it's been done before. The, the Europe, you know, um, 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 history is, is the rise and fall of civilizations, the rise and fall of, 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 of cultures um, um, even. The Roman Empire at its height, they called Rome the eternal city. Why? Because no Roman could, could, could conceive that, that there's going to be a time when there's no Roman Empire. There's going to be a time when there's no um, 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 Rome, capital of the world, not capital of Italy, but capital of the world. That was inconceivable. But it happened. It happened. And when and you study how it happened, it happened in, in, internally. The people started to rise up and, and internal and external forces. But all of them, you can go back to, you know, Persia, all great empires think that they are going to last forever. And they pass that on to the people who believe it. The people who receive the less, the least education believe that the powers that control them are infinite. We have to change that mindset because it's a fragile the system that's in place, it's fragile. It's fragile. You know, some places you just have to prick a pin in it and the whole balloon just deflates. <laughs> a good example is to look at uh, uh, USSR, for example. No? Yes, exactly. You know, it, it's really true. It, I look at it as a machine. Mm -hmm. that there are little both and none that make it work. What yeah. we need to understand as Africa is to first of all understand how the machine works that controls us. Yes. Yes. So that mm -hmm. we can then go and reconstruct our home. Because we also have a machine. Just as mm -hmm. somebody has put a lot of blockade in that machine, it's not working. Let me yeah. give you a lot of very simple instances. Mm -hmm. 
I am from Nigeria. Nigeria is one of the top oil producers in the world. Yeah. This is how it works in Nigeria. Mm-hmm. Nigeria government extracts this oil. They mm-hmm. have some people outside of Nigeria. They take this crude oil to them. They will refine the oil mm-hmm. somewhere and they bring it back to Nigeria. Okay, let's explain. By doing that, the Nigerian government had denied its own people the opportunity of understanding how to refine oil. One, right. it had right. denied the people of opportunity of getting a job. Two, yes. it had denied the people the opportunity of bringing out very many resources that you can mm-hmm. get from the secondary production from, of oh, oil. Well, yeah, chemicals and, and plastics and, and what have you, yeah. And this might appear like the people in Aso Rock in Abuja are stupid. No, it's not because they are stupid. It's because the British government, the mm-hmm. European government, set it up this way. And they mm-hmm. make sure that there are mafias are everywhere controlling yeah. them. So that yeah. there's no out of it. Because going out of it is against them. It means they need to go out of business enough. They need to they're not ready to pay. European government are <coughs> they want to take it, but they don't want to pay the cost. Oh, absolutely. absolutely. That, is, that is what the, the whole concept of racism is about. Mm-hmm. They want mm-hmm. to they want to uh, take from you without paying for it. Yes. Yes. Because that's what they used to with Africa. They came to Africa, they never paid for nothing, they tried to just take. You understand? So it's the same mindset that 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 that's working there. All right. Now we have talked a lot of things here today. Uh, of course, all of them are very important. It is important mm. for our community. That is the only thing that will represent our community. We need to survive, mm. you know? Mm. Now, how can people connect with you to benefit from what you are doing? This is a small moment for um, you to advertise yourself. Please go Okay, ahead. then um, um, visit my website, which is www.evolvingcreatives.com. Um, I'm not, I think it's on the bottom of um, the screen, but I don't... Yeah, www evolvingcreatives.com that that that's me um i'm also on 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 facebook um and instagram under those names evolving creatives um that's me please uh, uh, get in touch i mean i'm actually um um planning uh, i'm in discussion to visit ghana um in a couple of months and do some teaching out there um, maybe doing some African history classes um, um, while I, I, I'm out there. So, um, yeah, make the connection, make the connection, because this is the opportunity that this gives us now, yeah? I grew up in London, so my um, the people I could um, um, can potentially connect with were in London or, say, in Birmingham, which is a, a, a two hours on, on, on the train. But me growing up, I couldn't connect with a man in America or, 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 or a sister in Africa. This, what we're doing here now, gives us that connection. You know, I'm connecting with you. Um, 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 in, you're presently in Italy. I'm connecting with people who are watching all over the world. We must make use of this. I want to connect with you and see what you've got that can help me. You connect with me, see what I've got that can help you. Yeah www.evolvingcreatives.com. Let us evolve creatively together, my people. That's lovely. That's lovely. All right. This is uh, the last question I I, I have for you. Mm -hmm. Now, what do you think is the right strategy to make sure that our history continues to be alive? What is the strategy? Two or three? I don't know. Give us some of the ways to go about it. Okay. Um, Parents, I'm going to use the analogy of the parent and the child. Uh, and I'm a parent myself, so parents can't teach their children what they don't know, what the parent doesn't know. If I don't know how to do this, I can't teach my child how to do this. So there's a responsibility for lifelong learning. It's not just the, the youth, it's, it's, it's the elders too. We have a lot of knowledge that to pass on um, um, in terms of our own experiences and the, the, the oral traditions, etc. But um, it's it's about um, 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 creating our institutions, whether that's a local institution or an international institution, but creating those local situations where knowledge can be passed on. Um, there is a wealth, a wealth of, of, of knowledge. Free, let me give an example. Um, um, and I, I mention it in, in my book. During the medieval period, uh, um, Africa 
right up to the point where the first Portuguese arrived. Yeah. And even and going into that time again, there are over one million manuscripts, one million books that are still survived today that Africans written by Africans of that period. Yeah, it shows you just the, the, the level of literature that we, 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 were, we were dealing with. There's information in that books. There's knowledge in that books. There's science, there's wisdom, there's technology in, in that books. It, it, you can't, rec you can't um, um, to, in order to recreate something, you have to have an understanding of how it worked in the first place. Yeah, whether you want to build something, whether you want to deconstruct something, you have to have a knowledge of how it worked in the first place. So we need to understand the systems in place that are there to keep us down. We need to understand how do those systems work. And as we gain that understanding, so we develop strategies for either removing ourselves from the system or um, from those structures or changing those structures and developing our own. So it, it really is on, on, on and I'm not, I don't single out one area as more important than the, than the other. Political knowledge is just as important as scientific knowledge. It's just as important as spiritual knowledge. It's just as important as uh, uh, academic um, 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 knowledge. They're all part of the whole. I hope that made sense. <laughs> yeah, yeah, it does make sense. Well, Mr. Danny, that has been the end of the conversation. I want to thank you so mm. much. It has been a pleasure on my part. Oh, listen, thank you for giving me the opportunity to speak with you and to share with um, um, our brothers and sisters around the world. Thank you. You're, it's a great start to the day. Thank you so much.